Hello, and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Good morning, afternoon, or evening to you, depending on when you're finding the time to tune in. I welcome you today, and I thank you for joining me. I hope you'll allow me to encourage you today with good things spoken about you in Scripture. Our main text is Psalms 103, and it begins in verse 1 by saying, My soul, bless the Lord, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. My soul, bless the Lord, and don't forget all of His benefits. He forgives all your iniquity. And pertaining to iniquity, Isaiah 43, 25 says, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Think about that. It's for his sake he got rid of your sin and blotted out your transgressions. It goes on in Psalms 103 to say, He heals all your diseases. And Jeremiah thirty seventeen says to that, For I will restore health to you, and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. And then in Psalm 103, it goes on and it says, He redeems your life from the pit. As Psalms 49, 15 confirms, But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. And it goes on to say in Psalm 103, He crowns you with faithful love and compassion. And that's confirmed further in Psalms 5, 12, where it says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. And in Psalm 103, it still keeps saying, He satisfies you with good things. And that's confirmed again in Psalms 107, 9, where he says, For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. And we cap off 103 of Psalm, where it says, Your youth is renewed like the eagle. You know, there's no doubt in my mind that God, as a father, wishes to do good to his children. He wishes to bless his kids. He desires to do things that enable you and I to live in the new identity we received in his son, Jesus. And it is in his heart to show us compassion and mercy. It is in his heart to be faithful toward us. It is in his heart to bless us with good things. The challenge to this that we often face is that we can think our failures and unfaithfulness at times is greater than his desire and ability to do us good. We feel very strongly that we don't deserve such kindness because we failed to measure up to being able to merit it. But see, that's the beauty of it all. It's not something to be merited by us. It is given to us as a gift from him so that his grace is immeasurably manifested and given glory. We've been made righteous by Jesus so that we can receive all that God has in mind for us and by being in relationship with him, know his desires for us. This ability to hear his voice and know his heart empowers us to be bold and courageous about receiving whatever we need to follow him into his will for our lives. And this comes with great benefits that are unearned by us. They just are because he is. Remember, friend, You're loved today and always by your faithful, gracious, heavenly Father. And by coming to his Son in faith, receive eternal life, you were supernaturally born. You became his kid, and he loves you greatly. So I say to you today, be blessed. Go in grace and in peace. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, Good news that actually is.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day!